Here we go! Right, welcome back. Today we're making the very first edition of the one-to-one -one scale AT-AT -AT in Minecraft. So the last time we did a AT-AT -AT tutorial, or at, at if you want to call it that, but I'm going to call it AT-AT -AT because that's how I've always known it. Yeah, the last time we did one of those was three years ago, and that was the two-to-one scale model. And that one, even now, has like an updated model, but we'll <laughs> do that some point in the future. Not sure when. I'll be honest with you straight like off the bat, I don't really like doing wood cut tutorials just because the style completely breaks like my ideology of what tutorials should be where it's just layer by layer going up. Obviously when it comes to the things like legs, there's no point doing just three blocks at a time and then doing another layer. So the way we're going to do it in the build is we are actually going to do uh, the feet and the legs all as one up until about here and then it's a layer system past that. Thought that would be the easiest way to do it. And of course, it's going to uh, apply to these ones as well when they eventually come around. So, yeah, there isn't um, much of an interior on this, sadly. Um, but I don't know if we've even really seen the interior apart from the cockpit. Uh, we have a bit of space back here, and we also have a, a trap door for where you can get into the into the uh, walker from. We do have the cockpit at the front. You can see you actually can go through the neck. Um, I, mean, I know it's a little bit holy in places, but oh well. And you've got a cockpit here with two seats and space for a character behind. I think there's meant to be carpets there, but it's fine. Ignore that. So yeah, plenty of room in the cockpit. Uh, just sadly not much going on in the body, but oh well. So if we uh, jump out of here. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, nothing else to say about it really. Uh, there isn't an alternate leg design or anything. I never really do that with the walkers, it tends to just be straight up and then any modifications you want to make, uh, you can obviously do that if you want. Um, if I were to do like an alternate walking mode for an at, -AT it would have to be on the 2 to 1 model because with this there just wasn't really much um, in terms of ways to modify these shapes without making them too big or little and trying to put them at an angle. Yeah, it would have just been too difficult. But if you can work out a way to do it, absolutely go for it. And yeah, let's crack on with the build. So we'll do the feet and the legs all in one. And we'll probably just do one one leg and then I'll either uh, speed up or copy over off camera. So let's go. Okay, so starting off the build, take these materials. Again, this is doing the legs and the feet. Stone, polished andesite stairs, polished andesite slab, andesite wall, polished blackstone wall, iron bars, light grey banner, grindstone and end rod. So we're going to start by doing the middle toes I guess. Uh, these ones are shorter I believe because the feet sort of clip into each other as it walks. Well not into each other but the, um, the inside toe is basically kind of cut off. We're going to do just a single polished andesite slab. This is going to be kind of the centre block um, where the feet go on the left and right of that. So what we'll be working on at the minute is going to be the front feet and then we'll do the back ones afterwards. They are all the same design, the only difference um, left to right I guess is the, uh, the I guess it's like a suspension or something, I don't know. Um, but, oh, a piston, it's kind of like a piston on the inside of the legs, so that's the only thing that really changes. So start off with a stone square just like this. And you can put a polish on the side slab in the middle if you want. You won't really see it, but if you ever have the leg lifted in the air, having that um, from the underside would look a little bit better, I suppose. So yeah, do the uh, square like that, and then take the light grey banners, and we're going to do one, two, three, all the way around, just missing out those centre blocks. And then take the polished on the side stairs, do that on the other three sides. Um, we'll carry on with just one leg, actually. I was going to do the other one. Take the stone again, do one, two, three, one and one, and then another stone just on top there like that. Take the andesite wall, one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna take the grindstone now. And, oh yeah, just so you know, we're building towards the purple and green crystals. I always say this every single video, but just so you know. So the grindstone is gonna go there, and one there as well. This is gonna be a polished andesite stairs on top of it, facing towards uh, the stone block. See if I can do this. There we go. And there. 
and then this is a polished andesite slab. That's top half. Two andesite walls, two iron bars, two iron bars. Do another iron bars here and here. This time put a polished andesite stairs in between them like that. Polished black stone wall. This is going to be a andesite wall, andesite wall, and then another polished andesite stairs. And this is going to be another iron bar. So you can kind of see here, this is that sort of knee joint. I wish I could have done it like a th uh, three by three, but I was really cautious about scale and proportions of things. So I did my best to just kind of keep things in the correct sizes, even if it didn't look exactly like it should, which probably is gonna come back to buy me later, but whatever. So you've got the, uh, the two iron bars there, and then this is gonna be another iron bar here, another one there. Andesite wall on top, and then we're just going to do a 3x2 with the andesite walls. So just like that. Now on the inside of it, if we go to this uh, bottom andesite wall here, take an iron bar, do an end rod here, and then another iron bar on top of that end rod. And that's literally all you need for the kind of piston on the inside. What we are going to do now is just copy this to the Actually, no, let's let's do the, the front one first. Or is this a front one? We'll do the back one first. It doesn't really matter at this point because it's um, still kind of symmetrical. Do a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is where the other foot's going to start. I'm going to speed this up. So, yeah, just uh, do the exact same thing we did here, but here. So. Alright, so that foot's cupped over now. So what we're actually going to do is do the exact same thing on the other side now, on the other side of this middle block. Um, I'm not going to do that on camera, so I will do this off camera, copy this over. Essentially the copy and over point is this line down here, so I'll get the um, yellow wall. Remember that was a six gap between those. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is your centre line. Mirror everything that we just did onto this side, remembering that this toe is part of the other foot so it's like that essentially so yeah do that and we'll be right back right so there we go that should be uh, nice and copied over now so yeah lovely um so this is the kind of well not bottom half i'm gonna say bottom half all we need to do for the legs now is the uh bit on top the i guess shoulder joint i suppose which would make this the elbow i don't know yeah sure Whatever, <laughs> but we will be doing the um, shoulder joint, I guess, alongside the inside bit. The space in here is really thin, so a lot of it actually merges together, um, and it just gives the illusion of, because essentially on the um, actual model, you'd have the circular bit here, and then an inside sort of um, connected to the body that would move um, and connect about here. Uh, realistically with this scale that part and the kind of tube that goes down the center of the body is all all one thing sadly but oh well uh, again that's something to say for the two to one model anyway let's uh, move on to the first proper layer and yeah, let's get cracking all right layer number one so uh, from the previous section by the way the legs you might notice that these banners can't obviously go next to each other so you can just get rid of these because um, you don't want it on just one side so that's fine but yeah starting this off take the polished andesite full block one two uh, three and four polished andesite stairs and we can also do the next couple of layers up as well because I know that these are rounded so we can just get these out of the way so if we just do a little circle like that and then the same on these ones. Now I'm not sure what block goes in the middle so we'll have to come back to that but that's fine. And um, it just saves us a <laughs> few seconds I guess. This is going to be a dark oak sign on the outside of these top ones as well. 
There we go. Other materials you need are the polished andesite stone, cyan terracotta, polished andesite stairs, stone stairs, polished andesite slab, smooth stone slab, and andesite wall. So if we go to uh, this block here, this is towards the back. Do a stair there, stair there, and then a polished andesite in the middle. Take the cyan terracotta one, and then andesite wall just goes there like that. This is going to be a stone stair, and that's going to go just um, next to the polished one. Um, oh yeah, I think those are facing... Oh yeah, this way, so that way. There we go, that's fine. Put a stone block in the middle as well, so you should get this. Take a stone block, one and two. Stone stair here, stone stair here. And then two smooth stone slabs there like that, top half. Polished on the side slabs, one and two. Okay, leave a gap of two here. Using a temporary block like that, that's fine. Polished andesite on either side. This is going to be, um, we can just skip one actually and do a stone block, one uh, there. And then we need a stone stairs, just like that. And then same on this side. Pretty much the same as the back. A little bit different um, in a minute, but we'll get to that. So you've got this, two top half smooth stone slabs. Another you know, stone block goes here, and then it's a stone stairs um, like normal, like that. This is going to be stone stairs upside down, polished there. So just like so. Okay. And that's going to do it for that layer. So, yeah, simple as. Let's move on to the next layer up, which is going to be this one, and we'll do the. Um... Oh, actually, I know what it is. It's a polished black stone wall. So that goes just there. Just there, and then these ones. And while we're here as well, there is one more thing for that section of the leg, and then we'll be done with them, and that's a light gray banner there on all four. And it's just on the inside, not on the outside or anything. So there we go. So now let's um, let's move on to the next layer and do some of the body. Yeah. So take the same materials. We're gonna go to the back here do a polished andesite one and two, and then with the sign terracotta it's gonna be three, one on the left, one on the right, like that. Do a polished andesite wall there, there, and there. Uh, sorry, not polished andesite, just normal andesite. Three stone blocks, and then three polished andesite. Skip two and do the same here with the polished. This is gonna be four stone this time, four again here three polished in the middle and then this is a polished black stone wall in this gap here so there we go I don't know why my voice is already going that's that's a shame next layer up will be uh, on the same layer as these legs and that's literally everything for that one so yeah let's crack on with that all right again keep the same materials come to you here do another three there like that three here as well take the light gray banners and we're gonna do two there to that. This is going to be two more polished on the back half. Do a stone stair here and then a polished stair like that. Do a polished andesite between those. This is going to be a cyan and then we're going to take a andesite wall and an iron bars. Andesite wall on the left and right of that. And then this is a polished andesite stairs facing backwards, upside down. So you should get that. Okay, and then on the front half, two here, two here. One, two, three. Stone, and then this is a uh, upside down stone stair. Stone stair here. And there as well. And then stairs facing inwards like that. Gonna take a temporary block now. Um, use gold block, I suppose. And we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And then this is a top half smooth stone slab, and we'll come back to that in a second. We're gonna go to here for a minute. Do a temporary block there, and then an iron bar. And then take the andesite wall one, two, three, and four. Same again. This is part of the the main body where the side panels hang down a little. So there we go. 
Uh, you can delete these temporary blocks when you're done with them as well. So that's something out of the way. I'm going to take Iron Trap Door. This is part of the head here. One, two, and three. One, two, and three in a little L shape like that. I'm going to do stone blocks, one and two. Stairs here, uh, normal stone. Smooth stone. And then taking the... Uh, I keep saying polished on the side wall, I don't know why. Taking the normal on the side wall, that goes just there. And on this one, these are the uh, bottom cannons that we're working on now. Dark oak fence gate on either side. We're going to take N rod. And this is going to be three of those. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Finally, a skeleton skull just on the end. Um, like that. So there we go. Lastly for this section, just take a birch trap door. That's going to go on the outside of that uh, andesite wall. And then this is going to be a dark oak sign. And there we go. And that's going to go on the outside of that dark oak trap door. There we are. Cool, so that's good progress. This is uh, going a lot faster than I expected. Yeah, so let's move on to the next layer up, which I, I, I haven't been keeping count. I think it's layer four now. So <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay, again, just keep a similar set of materials. Um, you can fill this section in with stone if you want. Put a polished andesite on either side there. And this is going to be a a lot of top half building, which is lovely. We'd love to see them. One, two, three, four, five stone slabs top half, and then three full stone blocks. We'll get this bit out of the way now. This is going to be a stone stair facing outwards there and outwards there as well. Take a grindstone. And we're going to put that just on the bottom half of a block there, like that. All right, take the smooth stone slab, one, two, three, four of those, and four on this side. This is going to be two iron trap doors there, and two there, and then on this side as well, get those, get those done. So yeah, what I was talking about before, um, from the side view of the ATAT, -AT, there's um, this bit here, which is kind of like the the joint between the leg and the body but obviously if you come to the front you can see it's part of this middle bit which is a bit of trickery there but yeah we have to work with what we have because this definitely wouldn't be a meter thick um, so oh well like I said it's much better on the 2 to 1 model anyway so uh, from here take the polished underside slab we're going to come to Mm, this one, hang on one sec. Ah, these stairs are facing inwards. That's just one thing there. There we go. So this is a polished andesite slab top half that goes here. Two, three, four, five. And then with the smooth stone slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then with the polished again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then this is an iron trap door there. Iron trap door there. With three polished andesite slabs in the middle. Do four trap doors. One, two, three, four as well. And then five smooth stone slabs. That should join you up to that polished andesite from before. With the iron trap doors again, one and two. One and two. And then to finish off this back bit here, it's going to be a stone block just there and also a stone block just here and then in between I'm going to take stone stairs that's going to be one two and three one two and three and then a polished andesite slab goes there that's that bit done obviously you can see nice and shaped up now take dark oak trap doors we're going to do a bit more of the head here one two of those throw that away this is going to be a polished andesite stair and then one facing towards the front corner, it two, three. So yeah, the um, the walls on this are sort of tricky-ish. I mean, not that bad, but and we had to accommodate for the room inside. So yeah, there's some trickery here and there. Uh, so the grey carpets just go on these two here like that. Take a polished andesite stair, do one here and here as well. These are going to be the uh, pilot seats as well. And then this is going to be a top half upside down polished andesite. 
uh, stair and then one uh, corner like that. Again here, flip it like that. And this is going to be a stone slab, one and two. And then this is going to be a polished stair, polished stair, stone in the middle. Smooth stone slab goes there, top half. And then take the dark oak fence gate. That's going to go just here. Flip it. And then we need the skeleton skulls. That goes on the back. There we go. And then finally, two end rods on the front. So these are the uh, side cannons, obviously. Looking pretty nice already. Um, I, I do wish there were some bits on it that could have been made differently, but yeah with one to one you just have to work with the space you've got more than anything and um, sometimes you have to let material choices um come come last and that's going to be it for that layer so let's uh move on to layer number i think we're on five now i'm not sure one two three four yeah on to layer number five all right layer number five i think it is if we go to uh the back and keep the same materials i've just changed one uh, which was polished andesite just for sign terracotta. So I guess mm, we'll start. Let's start here actually with the polished andesite stairs. Do a corner one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's a corner one as well. So we're now doing the rest of the floor for the interior or whatever interior there is, and uh, kind of starting to build up these walls on the outside, which is which is good. So you do that little uh, design there with the stairs, and there's going to be two cyan, skip one and do three. And then in the middle of those is going to be stone. Then take the stone block and do one, two and three here. And on the other side, same thing, three, like that. Go in by one there and there. And we're also going to come to the back over here, do one, two and wrap it around like that. Take andesite walls now, one, two, and three there, three here as well. This is going to be a top half smooth stone slab, and then we're going to take uh, light grey banners and just do one there and one there, and that finishes off that kind of back bit. That's nice. Take the stone stairs, one, two, and basically all the way along. You don't need to count these out, just all the way to there. And then take the smooth stone slab, one, two, three, four, five, skip one and do another five there like that. And then in this gap here is going to be the spruce trap door. So there you go, you can get in and out of the at, -AT quite easily. Although, yeah, you're going to struggle getting in to be honest unless you have a, a dirt tower or something. Um, so, whatever. Coming to the front here, cyan. Cyan, three andesite walls curved around like that. And then this is going to be a polished blackstone wall. We need to do one of those on each side. And then one andesite wall on each side. Then do the polished blackstone wall again. Go out by one here with the andesite. And then forward by two, like that. Take the polished andesite stairs, one corner that one just like that you can see we've got some gaps here and um, but we'll be filling those in in a minute take the stone stairs this is going to be a top half one upside down just there like that and then another one there with a stone slab just in the middle and that's going to be the viewport for the drivers so there we go take a birch trap door now and this one's going to go one two three flip those down one, two, three, flip those down again. Now you can see that a lot of those gaps have been patched out. The uh, only ones really are here in the neck and those don't go away completely. But if we add some dark oak uh, fence gates, add two of those and flip them, whichever way, it doesn't matter. You kind of get the the, uh, the wall connects to it properly, but you still get this little gap in the middle, but it's better than just having no um, no bits at all. Okay, so you've done done that now. We take the grey banners this time. Okay, and this one is going to go just there on the trapdoor and there as well. 
and then take a redstone comparator. That's going to go on top of that stone slab just like so. So there's the cockpit, that's lovely. And other than that, a few more things to do on the back. Two andesite walls there, two here as well. We need to take polished blackstone buttons and we need three of those on each side. One, two and three. And one, two and three. This is your interior space here. And yeah, lovely, that's going to be it for layer number five. So let's move on to layer number six. I'm hoping I'm on the right one. <laughs> okay, layer number six. Again, might as well just keep the same materials. Don't really need uh, any, any others. So come to the, we'll start the neck I guess, and do the blackstone walls on top of those ones we did before, just like that. Um, and there as well. So it should be four in total really for the overall neck. Take the dark oak fence gates again and just do those there. Flip them that way I guess. This is going to be a cyan here and there as well. And we'll do the head first I suppose, that's probably a good place to start. Take these stone stairs, and one on either side, like that, upside down. This is going to be two iron trap doors in the middle. Stair goes just eh, here, like that. So that's a normal stair with a polished one on either side. Smooth stone slab times three, and then we're going to take light grey carpet just to finish off the front of that cockpit, like that. Grab a birch trap door. Actually, no, not a birch trap door. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, we need a light grey banner. That's just going to go on the outside of that dark oak trap door. Oh, my God, not dark oak trap door. Black stair. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I can't do it properly. Um, yeah, so light grey banner on the outside. The polished black stone wall. There's completely wrong materials there. I don't know what, what the problem was. Um, yeah, so that's fine. And then just two dark oak signs. Yeah, so I got that one right, that's fine. That goes there, and there as well. Okay, so there's only one more bit of the head to do, I think, and then we're done with that. Um, so moving back, two andesite walls go there. This is going to be stone, you're going to do one, two, one, two. And then one, two, three to make four in total on that row. This is going to be a polish on site stairs here, and then skip two and do one facing the other way. Do polished on site slabs in the center of that, and then four more stone blocks here. Diagonal by one, and then this is going to be two polished on site slabs there, and then on site wall one, two, and three with a iron bar just here on the back. Same again, one, two. Three stone block, one, two, three, four, stair, stair, two slabs. Simple. With the andesite wall now, one and two. Again, one and two, and then taking the birch trap doors. It's gonna be five. Nope, four. It's gonna be four there like that, and on the inside as well. And there we go. These will get mostly covered up. Um, in a minute anyway but that's just to add a bit of thickness to the walls I think, I can't remember why they're there um, but they do have a purpose take the polished black stone buttons we're going to do two here and two on this side then with the dark oak sign again one and one and again I think that concludes this layer so let's move on to layer number seven now so let's go okay this layer just take smooth stone slabs we're going to start off um, on this black stone wall, one and two. Polished andesite slab in the middle. And then take the iron trap doors, one, two, and three. One in front, and then two light grey carpets go there. And that pretty much finishes off the head, so that's nice to have that out of the way. We just need another uh, dark oak trap door that's going to go there. This is going to be a grey carpet. And then next to that, there's going to be a smooth stone slab. This is going to be a sign terracotta just here. And then two stone blocks. And before I forget, grab birch trap door. And we're going to put one just here and here. And then flip them. With the light grey banner now. 
those go on the outside just there and here as well all right with the andesite wall two there two here as well three stone this time and then four polished andesite four blocks and we'll grab those from down here one two three four one two three four two stone blocks on either side and then this is going to be a smooth stone block i think this is the first time we've Use smooth stone in this build as a four block anyway. Um, so there we go, and then this is going to be a andesite wall on either side. And just take an iron bar again. That's going to go here, and just here as well on top of that andesite wall. Taking the light grey banners one, two, three, four, and four on this side, and then coming to the back finally. Polished andesite stair one and two. Andesite full block one and two. This is going to be cyan terracotta if we just grab some of that from here. Goes there like so. And then birch trapdoor is going to go on this block, flip it. This one, flip it. And then take the light grey banners one more time. One there. And one there. Now I think. That concludes this layer there. Quite a weird, tricky one there, but yeah. Um, so that's layer number, what was it, seven, I believe? Yeah, so let's move on to layer number eight. All right, layer number eight, come down to here, grab stone and polished underside. Two stone in the middle of those banners, polished on either side. Stone there, uh, wait, what? Yeah, stone there, stone there, a light grey banner, um, just on that stone. Taking the andesite wall, three, and then two here. And we're also going to skip one and do another one here. Again, we'll do the same thing. I'll just get rid of all the andesite walls at once this time. I think that is all of them, so that's good. You want to take the stone stairs again and find that. There we go. And there's going to be a stone block just here. Oh, right, the stone's over there. That's why I couldn't find it. Stone on these two. Um, and then it's going to be an iron trap door in. Oh, actually, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think the best way to do this. Right. I, uh, stone stairs goes there upside down in there as well. Iron trap door here. And then this is going to be a cyan. Take the smooth stone again. It's going to be one and one. Stone stairs, one and two, one and two. Um, and then we'll just quickly do this on the other side as well. So we don't forget. There we are. And there's banners. Also, there we go. Now for the back half, take the polished andesite stairs. We're going to do two here, two on this side. This is going to be a stone four block. Polished andesite four block, one and two with a stone in the middle. This is going to be a stone stairs, stone stairs. And then this here is going to be a top half smooth stone slab. Let's grab that. There we go. And finally, grab the polished black stone button. I'm just going to put one on here and here, and then on these two as well. That's going to do it for that layer, so let's move up to the next one. Okay, only like two or three more layers to go, so yeah, really, really good progress, I think. If we go to the middle again, stone, stone, polish, polish, stone, stone. With the light grey banners, on both sides, same as before. One, two, one. I think I did the wrong material. Um, wait, hang on. Did I? Yeah, I think that's meant to be a stone. There we go. That was from the previous layer, silly me. Polish there, two stone. Um, and then the light grey banners again. Okay, from there, two stone towards the back. Do a cyan in the middle. This is going to be a stone stairs. This is going to be a polished on the side block, block, slab, slab, and then light gray carpet. One, two, and three. And in this gap here, put a lever 
and just flip it as well. Uh, take the andesite walls, two of those, two here, and then now we can move on to the front half. Oh, actually, first grab polished blackstone button that just goes there and on this side. Yeah, moving on to the front, two andesite walls on both sides. Take the stone, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With the polished black stain buttons again, two there, two here. Take the cyan, that goes on the third one along, with a stone stairs here, and then three polished andesite slabs. And again, that's going to do for that layer, so let's move on to the second to last one, and then we'll be uh, all sorted. I swear he keeps opening this trap door and it's really annoying. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's move on to that. Right, so second to last layer, and we might even be able to do the final one as well, but we'll see. This is going to be a stone block just here, here, and on those ones, polished on those four corners and stone in the middle. Take the cyan terracotta, this is going to be four here, and four there as well. And take the stone block, do four, plus one extra on the end, and we're going to take grey concrete now. One and two, one and two. This is going to be three stone stairs just like that. Polished, polished, both slabs obviously. And then a light grey carpet on these ones here. And we're also going to take a rail real quick and that's going to go in that gap just there like that. On the front half, three stone stairs. This time we're going to do three stone stairs facing it. Two polished andesite slabs, light grey carpet on either side. And that does it for that layer. Um, oh, actually, no, we need the buttons. Polish blackstone button one, two, one, one, two, one. So for the final layer, we're going to do a set of one, two, three, four, five, six slabs. Six slabs there. Three, three. I'm going to take a stone button this time. One, two, three, four. Light grey carpet in the middle. One, two, three, four. And with that, that actually does it. So I'm going to quickly put the shaders on so you can get a good look at this. But yeah, that's the entire tutorial done. Um, I know a lot of people wanted a new ATAT -AT model, especially in one-to-one. -one, and this definitely works fantastically. That's a word, isn't it? It doesn't sound right. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I'm sure. Um, okay. Yeah, looks pretty great from all angles. Again, like I said, with these one-to-one -one things, um, definitely kind of trying to mesh between being able to use it and have cockpits and stuff, and also obviously keep the proportions as close as I can to what we see in the films. I'm not like trying to caricature, ca ca wait, like a caricature. I can't say it. You know what I mean? Like with the odd proportions. I know the word. I just can't say it because you know. It's like chiseled stone bricks. I just really, really struggle. Um, yeah, so these, yeah, trying to be accurate with it. And materials do suffer a bit, you know, like with the dark oak and its signs and stuff. But sadly, we just have to deal with it for now. Um, I do actually have a five to one model in progress, which is uh, going to be pretty mad. And my voice just cracked a bit there, which is great, great way to end this. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up just have a look at this thing and um, we'll go into the cockpit real quick before we finish off but you can definitely put a speeder bike or something in here if you if you could try and fit one there is a missing block here i know that's um not very good i believe it was a stone stairs that goes there like so and yeah so the cockpit's here clones in the way um yeah anyway that's going to be everything i'll uh, quickly get out of here and leave him to whatever he's doing yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Um, be safe, be good. Bye-bye. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Massive thanks to all the current Patreon supporters who help make content such as what you just watched possible. Please check out the link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's awesome rewards on offer for your contributions too. So thanks.